Uh, nobody cares about the intro. Here are the Pac-12 basketball arenas. As always, thank you to RateYourSeats.com for providing most of the interior shots you'll see. McHale Center, Arizona Wildcats. The venue features a rather unassuming red brick and concrete exterior, matching the rest of the campus. But there are some modern touches here and there. I guess the numerous facelifts over the years, most notably in 2014, have been focused on what matters most, because the interior is a lot more impressive. The latest renovation replaced all the seats in the house with these vibrant red and blue ones, as well as replacing the lights and adding this flashy video board. The seating comes as close as possible to the court's edge. As with most, if not all the venues in this conference, it was purpose-built for basketball, because there's no Pac-12 ice hockey for now. Staying in Arizona, Desert Financial Arena, Arizona State Sun Devils. It gets the nickname, The Well. I assumed that was because it's in the desert and it kind of looks like a well, but it used to be sponsored by Wells Fargo. Perhaps it's both. We'll never know. Oh well. The seating layout is a little different. It's not quite a circular bowl, but not quite rectangular. Bit of an oval. Which means there's none of that additional floor seating that you get with the circular seating bowls. So it looks clean. No extra clutter. But there still is a bit of a gap between the front row and the court. It does allow for better sight lines for those sitting in the corners of the court though. It's not the most vibrant colour scheme on the inside, but overall it looks pretty good. Haas Pavilion, California Golden Bears. For something that's called a pavilion, you wouldn't expect to see such a grand exterior. It dates back to the 30s, so that old school design is genuine. The interior, however, isn't so old. It was gutted and rebuilt within the pre-existing walls in the late 90s. I do love it when they're able to keep the best parts of the original design whilst incorporating modern amenities. It's a very compact venue, consisting of some fairly steep seating of a mix of benches, chairback seats, and whatever these are. Okay, maybe some of the 1930s remains. I really like the blue and yellow colour scheme, well, I guess it's blue and gold, and the attention to detail. Even the ceiling and the rafters are painted in the team's colours. CU Event Center, Colorado Buffaloes. Every time I mention Colorado's football stadium, I praise that wonderful exterior. Unfortunately here, there's just a slither of that architectural style, with that bit of tile roofing. Raw concrete makes up most of the exterior. Straight away you will have noticed that the backboards are suspended from the ceiling. It's not unique to the Buffaloes, but it's not all that common. I think it should be though. Not only does it make for unobstructed views from behind the baseline, but they just look cool. Other than that, the arena is not one of the more interesting venues in the conference, but that Rocky Mountain floor design is pretty cool. Matthew Knight Arena, Oregon Ducks. This sleek metallic exterior is comfortably the flashiest out of all the Pac-12 arenas, and I suppose that makes sense given that it's the newest. The steep seating gets you right on top of the court, the design of which is one of a kind. If at first you don't notice the trees, it kind of looks like it's just being worn away. It's nice, but it could have been a little more subtle. But what do I know? It was actually designed by Tinker Hatfield, who, if you're a bit of a sneaker head, you might already know designed several iconic Nike and Jordan shoes. The venue is named after the son of Nike's founder after all. Oh, and how cool is that video board setup? It's known as Night Vision, with a K. Gill Coliseum, Oregon State Beavers. It's named that of course because beavers are the only mammal with gills. Well, according to the Catholic Church at least. Much like Haas Pavilion, it features an old fashioned facade. Although the outer shell has been replaced since the 40s, so it doesn't quite have that same old school charm. But on the inside, the ceiling and the walls remind you that it is indeed a very old building. In fact, the black and orange seating combined with those inward curved video boards almost look out of place. It's an odd blend of old and new, but I guess it works. 
Maples Pavilion, Stanford Cardinal. In an odd coincidence, it's named after a prominent figure in the lumber industry, Roscoe Maples. I know what you're thinking, is the court made from maple? Well, I spent like an hour trying to find that out, without success. And I'm not going to email someone at Stanford about such a frivolous thing. Let's just say that it is. But then again, the tree in their logo is a redwood. But the court clearly isn't redwood. Do you think Roscoe went into the lumber industry because his name was Maples? It was either that or syrup, I suppose. And I don't think any maple syrup magnates have an arena named after them, so it was probably the right- uh, Oh, sorry. <laughs> Back to the arena. This is the smallest venue in the conference. The corners aren't even filled with seats. Oh, and they've got the metal Spider-Man webs holding up the backboards once again. It's a solid venue. Pauley Pavilion, UCLA Bruins. The building keeps a low profile as the court is below street level. So when walking past it, it could just be any other building on the campus, albeit a rather nice one. It might be the only college basketball arena with a wooden court. You heard me correctly, but you might be confused. What is this fool talking about? They all have wooden courts, but this court is actually named after Paul and John Wooden. Yes, the wood-based synergy in this conference is off the charts. Overall, the arena looks fantastic. However, the retractable seating lower down doesn't look the greatest, but I suppose it's better than leaving that area empty. Or even worse, those standalone plastic chairs. Galen Center, USC Trojans. This venue has a bit of everything that I like to see in an arena. I love the grand exterior made of concrete and brick, with some intricate depictions of athletes sculpted into it. The interior has a pretty clean double tier design. All the seats are that padded theater style. There are some luxury suites up top. It's a solid video board setup. And most importantly, how good are just some big old windows in a basketball arena? Even better when there's a view of the City of Angels. Absolutely stunning. It's very much nature's jumbotron. If you ignore the fact that skyscrapers aren't exactly the product of mother nature. Although, I guess in a way they are. John M. Huntsman Center, Utah Utes. Hmm, in Australia, this is a huntsman, and this is a ute. Uh, I don't have anything to add, just... Huntsman's are chill, by the way. Uh, this big silver dome is a design that's straight out of the 60s. In fact, the interior used to look like something straight out of a 60s sci-fi film. Look at that thing. But it's quite modern nowadays, especially after a recent renovation that upgraded the lighting and added this marvelous 360 degree video board. It does have that circular seating bowl as with most proper domes, which offers great sight lines for everyone. I suppose I should point out that it has the largest capacity in the conference. It's got a lot going for it this place. Alaska Airlines Arena at Heck Edmondson Pavilion. Washington Huskies. I do hate it when they do that. Where does the pavilion end and the arena begin? They just want that sweet Alaska Airlines bag. But how can I be mad at a place that features such a beautiful brick exterior like that? It's actually the oldest venue in the conference. Not far off being 100 years old. But it's certainly one of my favorites. The seating is comprised of a mix of purple chairback seats, as well as some wooden benches scattered amongst them, making for an interesting look. There are some impressive video boards as well. That's the style I prefer, just one big screen facing each direction. Looks clean. Oh, and I almost forgot, a bit of window action, 1920s style. No real view though. Go Cow Gus. What? Beasley Coliseum, Washington State Cougars, oh. Much like their Washington counterparts, the exterior here is also quite old fashioned. But not in the same charming way, just dated and dull. It hasn't changed much since the day it opened and it opened in the 70s, so no surprises there. 
however it's not looking too bad on the inside. Of course a big flashy video board helps with that. For a while it was the only venue in the conference with a classic parquet floor, but I guess after seeing the ducks court they felt theirs was a bit boring. So as you can see it has since been replaced with something a lot more complex. Other than that it's a fairly straightforward arena. And that's it for today's video, if you enjoyed it and you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, have a good one.